Now, an insightful monologue from an exciting newcomer. I met him here when I took his class on Celtic mythology. Give it up for... That's my card, but someone else put their name on it. This person had the card. You know him? Right. He came in for a job interview. His name is, uh, Thaler, Zach Thaler. So what's Thaler done? What would your guess be? Maybe some trouble with a girl. He struck me as kind of a ladies' man. Zach Thaler, Totten. Taught English in Osaka, Japan for five years until last spring. You were in Osaka for business last year, right? That's what they told us in personnel. Was Zach your personal guide? It's just when you eat all that salty Japanese food, <clears throat> rings, you know, especially wedding rings, they get really tight to wear. I don't think I have to. We get it. What happened in Japan stays in Japan. So, Zach showed up here. Try remembering where he lived. He was house-sitting a loft next to the park building. You should put a call into the DHD. Looks like uh, elder abuse, huh? Textbook case. Hey, what happened? Hang on, sir. What's going on? You live here? Where's my dad? We're taking him to the hospital. Is he all right, Dad? He's just a little dehydrated. He'll be fine. Sir, is your father in your care? I got Control 1 out of 49. My partner's in foot pursuit, St. Andrews, 29th South, eastbound through the houses. Control 1849, suspect down. Request RA for a Caucasian male, 25 year old, unconscious and breathing. Roger that, A149. RA unit has been requested. What do we got? Knocked himself out cold. He tanked out. Yeah. <laughs> All right, have a seat, Mr. Dinger. This is Deputy DA McNorris. Um, somebody want to explain to me what's going on here? Officers Heckler and Turcotte responded to a report of a possible kidnap hostage victim. Arriving at the scene, it looked like what they really had was a case of elder abuse. Mr. Dinger's father has Alzheimer's disease. He can't afford full-time supervision, so he tied his father to the bed. It was the first time, and it was for his protection. What was I supposed to do? What does this have to do with me? The reason he tied him to the bed was because sometime late last night, his father got out and took Mr. Dinger's pickup truck for a ride. He thought he had to go to work. When the old man got back, the pickup truck had been in an accident. But it looked like you hit a fence or something like that. Uh, and finally, CBS president Les Moonves revealed that he's considering a multiple anchor format. You know, Dan Rather, after a long, long career here at the network, is stepping down in March. And uh, Les Moonves is now going to change things up a little bit. Instead of just replacing Dan as the sole anchor, is looking at a multiple anchor format to replace Dan. And it seems pretty interesting from the testing that they've done. Uh -huh. Watch these tests. While President Bush continues to receive severe criticism for his handling of the war, he now faces new headaches as Congress debates his Social Security proposals. Steve? Thanks, Jim. Sensing an opportunity, Democrats are accusing the president of endangering Social Security. And according to news... That's right. There you go. That's the Week in Review. I met a friend of yours tonight. Demon named Sajan. Actually, he was long-winded. I didn't quite get what his deal was. He hates me. Do you know why? I don't really care why. Did you come here to fight, or should I make some tea? <laughs> Come on. You hurt?
George? I don't think so. Should we need to get these guys to a hospital or a morgue? No. If I want Holtz, I find Wesley with him. I'm gonna count to three and I'm gonna bury this in your face. Uh, 2239 Santa Elena. It's a big Victorian in Silver Lake. Jean Paul thinks your hair needs freedom! <laughs> He's a genius. Do you think you can get me an appointment with him? Okay, I'll try. Katie, everyone's talking about the new yogurt store. Be a love and get Jean Paul. Two scoops. Jean Paul, I'm really sorry to bother you, but I need to talk to you about my friend's hair. What about it? Well, she kind of hates it. You do not like my creation? No. No? <laughs> you know? I'm not crazy about it myself. Come see me tomorrow. We fix. Campus Cafe Arts Festival will now begin with our hostess, Alzina Harris, who will inspire us with her life-affirming poetry. Sir, I don't know what you're doing today. Sir, yeah, I'm going to I now pronounce you husband and wife. You and Ethan were meant to be together. You may now kiss the bride. And Matthew Fox and Nancy Griffin. We'll be right back with Al Franken, everybody. Revealing footage at 11.